Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on to another DOY Creation 7 video. Okay, my supporters, I got a few people who asked me in the comments uh, when I was showing you all my bow ties and they wanted to know how I actually made my bow ties. So I make my bow ties different ways. So I have some examples of how I make my bow ties. So here is one of my bow ties right here. And this one, I just took the same yarn, wrapped the string around the yarn once I made this bow tie. And this is how this one right here turned out. If you're just using a, uh, you know, a screen, uh, the yarn to tie it like that. Hope you all can see that really good. This is the look. Again, for this one, I just have one of those pins you put in your hair. Um, so there's one look. Another way I did mine was doing it like this. So here's the bow tie, and then I made a ring to go around the bow tie. So it has this look right here. And this is how it will look on. So we are getting ready to make this one right here with this design right here to go around but I want you to know if you make this one and you don't want to do this portion right here you can just take the yarn wrap it around and it'll give you that look right there okay so what you're going to need for this one here I am using the four ply yarn I have the red heart yarn the super savior in the color gold I am going to be using a letter I crochet hook or um, a 5.5 hook, crochet size hook. Before we get started, you know I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. Are you guys checking out my earring? Yes. So here are the earrings that I made with the clip on. So you don't have to be um, a person that doesn't have your ears pierced to wear clip-ons because I have these on and my ears are pierced. So I just want to show you all, obviously they did not sell. I only made this one pair right here. Um, I had decided at my event that I uh, did on Sunday that it had to be request only. I was not about to make a whole lot of clip-on earrings. I was like, you know what? This one is going to be on request. But that's not why y'all here. We are here to make the, the bow tie. So I'm just going to pull my camera down so that we can get started. Hold on one second. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright. To get started, go ahead and make a slip knot. Go ahead and chain 20. Okay, to do a chain is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So that is the length that I want. If you want your bow tie bigger, you can make it bigger or longer it all depends so once you have your chain 20 go ahead and chain additional two one two in the third chain from the hoop go ahead and put a half double crochet into your third chain from the hoop and now what we're going to do i'm just going to break it down just a tad bit more we're just going to do a half double crochet all the way all the way down and to do our half double crochet just go into the next stitch grab the yarn you got three loops on your chain your uh, hook pull through all three so what I want you to do is just go ahead and do a half double crochet all the way down this chain right here and I'll be back once I get to there I'll be right back Okay, everyone, I am back. So I'm at my last half double crochet. 
once you get to the end of the row, this is how we are looking. Go ahead and chain two, one, two, turn your work around, and then we're just going to go on this row as well doing our half double crochet. Now we're going to do a total of nine rows of half double crochets. Each time that you get to the end of the row, just chain two, turn your work around, and repeat that for a total of nine rows. Again, to do our half double crochet, we are just simply going into the next space and pull through all three, go into the next space and pull all three. Go ahead and do that for a total. This is row number two. Go seven more rows and I'll be back once I have my nine rows completed. Okay, so this is how we look in. Do your nine rows and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So once you have completed your nine rows, you can go ahead and cut your yarn because this is how we're going to look just like a piece, just like this. If you fold your work in the center, you can take the yarn and just wrap it around in the center to get your bow tie or you can do what we're getting ready to do next. So go ahead and cut your yarn and we're going to get ready and start on the other part so grab your yarn because that part is completed grab your yarn and make a slip knot to make your slip knot wrap the yarn around your finger pull through and there's our slip knot so we're going to go ahead and chain five one two three four five I'm going to leave this attached because let me just take this off. Okay. Sorry for the shakiness. Okay, hold on one second. Grab some yarn. So we're going to go ahead and chain five. Once you have your five, chain two, one, two. And the third chain from the hoop, go ahead and put your double, cro not a double crochet, but a half double crochet. And then you're just going to half double crochet across. This is just a shorter version of what we just did. So half double crochet across those five chain. All right. And once we get to the end, we're going to chain up two, one, two turn our work around and we're just going to repeat this process I'm, I'm thinking let's see let's see how many rows we're going to need hold on one second I think I'm going to go off camera and see how many rows I need and I'll be right back okay I am back so I did it for a total of seven rows so I just chain five uh, and just went back and forward for a total of seven rows. So this is how we should look. So we want to join these two pieces together. So go ahead and fold your work in half. And we're just going to do a slip stitch all the way across to join this part with this part right here. So go ahead and put your yarn through both stitches just like that to connect and at the top stitch at the bottom at the top we're just going to do a we're going to sew in this at the same time crochet right over this so we're just going to do a slip stitch and if you don't know how to do a slip stitch go at the top top grab the yarn and just pull through this is a clean um stitch that it's just a nice stitch so we're just going to pull this all the way through all the way across both ends and do our slip stitch once we have our slip stitch we are done you can go ahead and cut this part off right here I don't see my scissors but go ahead and cut that and join so let me see where's my okay there's my scissors 
So go ahead and let's cut this part off and we're just going to slip right through, fasten off. And so that part is finished. Go ahead and flip this on the opposite side. We're going to sew, you can sew these in right now or you can do it later. I'm just going to cut mine for right now. My extra pieces, sew yours in if you like. I'm just going to cut mine off. And now I'm just going to turn my work inside out. And so here's that piece right here. So here is our bow tie we did. Fold it in half. And just run your bow tie right along through here. Pull it through. Straighten it out. Just like that. And so there is our bow tie. How awesome is that? Now you can use what I use, which is this right here. Or, um, let me just put this one back on. I had to take this one off to see what I was doing. This one is a, this is one done. This one is done in double crochet. This one is done in a thicker yarn. So get you some of these pins right here. These are the pins you can pick up right at your Walmart or your beauty supply store. And you're just going to take that pin and put it in right in the back. So all I'm doing is taking the pin and I just put it right on. And that is how the pin looks in the back. And this is how our bow tie looks in the front. I'm just going to pull the camera up real quick. This is a quick and easy project to do. This, um, these bow ties are very, very great to, the reason why I'm not fastening this off right now is because I already have a gold um, bow tie. So I really don't need another one, but I wanted to do this with you all. So here is the finished product. If you want this to be a little bit more stiffer, you can use some uh, starch and iron this to make it a little bit more stiffer, stiffer. But there it is. There's our bow tie with our pin on the back. If you don't have any pin, you can use a bobby pin. But I would recommend to get this one because this one have a better hold. You can do these in multiple colors. As you saw, I did mine in a white, black, and gold. But have fun with it. Use fun colors. Do whatever you like. But there's our bow tie. Quick, simple, and easy. If you want your bow tie to be bigger, use a, uh, this is done using half double crochet, double crochet. And if you want it even bigger, use thicker yarn. But that concludes our tutorial for today. I hope you all really enjoyed how this worked up. It doesn't take any time to make these bow ties. They're really fun to make. You can make it for, you know, a baby boy as well. That'll make a nice, um, what do you call it, a baby shower gift to have the little boys with some nice bow tie. Be creative. Have fun with it. All right, you guys, that is what I wanted to stop in to share with you all today. If you like this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Please share if you don't mind. Also, if you have not already subscribed, please take a second out and click on your subscribe button and also your bell so that you can be notified when I upload new videos. All right, guys, I end up taking out my earrings. So let's put these back on. All right. Let's end it with these right here. And if you're a person that do not have um, pierced earrings or piercing in your ears and you would like for me to make you some clip-ons, all you got to do is leave that in the comments below and we can get that all situated. I also want you all to know that I did add some more earrings to the website, so please make sure you check out the website for the new items. Until next video, always remember Yah Psalm 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check and I'll be checking you all 
in the next video really, really soon. Thank you so much for clicking on to this video. Bye for now.